I actually don't think it's just one big barrier. I think it's a number of small, little barriers that we can easily take steps toward. So communication, we can communicate better with each other within the justice system. We can identify our users and beneficiaries better. We can do better research. These are all, I think, really little steps that we can take that will um, reduce those barriers and address the barriers that we have identified. I think the biggest barrier to access to justice is that most people don't even realize we have a problem. It's an invisible issue for many, many people. Everybody knows that they'll get sick someday. Most people don't seem to realize that they're going to have legal problems someday. So they don't worry about it, they don't think about it, they don't spend any time on it. So it's invisible. So there's no political pressure to change it, to invest, to make it better. I think that number one is definitely the public opinion and how everyone believes that legal aid only helps criminals and they don't necessarily see the other aspects of legal aid um, that they do and all the wonderful things that they do in other areas of the law. And I also think it's the reluctant, reluctance from lawyers and family law ju or judges that don't see lawsuits as a tool that can be utilized during this process in order to increase access to justice. Um, some of the issues are well known, delays and costs and uh, access to justice, but there's a diverse uh, set of views as to what the root causes of those problems are. And we need every oar pulling in the same direction uh, to solve them, and that means we need at least to get all the views on the table as to what the problems could be. Well, quite frankly, I think the biggest barrier to access to justice is the lack of both political and societal will to believe that access to justice is important, that it is important for people from across this country to be able to give access to their rights, to their legal rights, to go into court if necessary, and to find out what their legal rights are. When we as a society accept that this is an important thing, everything from the people in the street to the politicians, that's when we'll have achieved access to justice. The largest barrier uh, with access to justice is defining what it means. For me, it's a very broad-ranging concept. I work in a legal clinic that helps poor people with their legal problems, keeping a roof over their head and food on the table. And I'm feeling very hopeful that because of the research that's been done about people's legal needs and the connection between access to justice and disenfranchisement and disengagement and, and poverty is, is now very clear that we also need to help people with those legal needs in very innovative ways, uh, which include public legal education, which include uh, organizing work, action research projects, and so on to help uh, poor people uh, realize their place in Canadian society. There are a lot of different barriers, but I think that one of the biggest is, uh, is education. Uh, by far. I think a few people at the conference made that point very clear and so I think it's very important that we take a step back and look at the users of the system and realize that they need a lot more education in general to interact with the legal system, to understand the players um, and uh, to, to continue having faith in the system moving forward. Well I think it's fairly widely agreed that uh, it's a question of economic class lack of affordability of people to access what we have tended to treat as the way into the legal system, which is to have a lawyer. And we've tried to set up a lot of other ways to do that, but affordability is still a major issue for self-represented, or I prefer to think of as unrepresented litigants. Well, the obvious one is, uh, is funding, but I think sometimes it's too easy to stop and uh, start uh, with that one, uh, that one factor. I think there's more than that. I think there's imagination and I think there's a need for collaboration and breaking down barriers both within the legal profession and uh, other colleagues in the justice sector but also between sectors in our society because as Many people know when legal problems happen, they're often connected with social and health and other problems. And I think we need to collectively break down some of those barriers in order to move forward. I think that our greatest obstacle to access to justice in Canada right now is a lack of political will. And I think that that can change when we engage the public with the realities of a lack of access to justice. I think the greatest barrier is collaborating across Canada 
and um, keeping momentum in discussing um, issues of access to justice. I think the energy from the summit and the connections that are made, um, specifically at this summit, I've been to quite a few, but I think the timing is right and the timing is now for change.